There's, I think, 1.2 million road deaths a year. It's like basically taking a major U.S. city like San Diego and turning it to ash every year. Roadway fatalities do continue to rise in the U.S. And in Texas specifically, we've had almost 25 years straight where we have not had a day without at least one fatality on a Texas roadway. That's a statistic that concerns everyone deeply. Well, fatal fires in the UK is what we refer to as people on their mobile phones or cell phones, as you would call them, people speeding, people not wearing their seat belts, people distracted while driving, and drink driving. You know, the fatal five that we would call them. I'm obviously not the expert in why it's like that in the US, but it has probably a lot to do with how to plan and control the traffic. What you see is that most accidents are caused by unadapted speeds. Unadapted speed is one of the main reasons for fatal casualties. You cannot really take control of the traffic flow unless you have a system, say variable message signs to adjust the speed based on condition. I do not see that really anywhere in this country and I think that's a big, big issue. When you start introducing variable speeds, which is depending on how much traffic is there going on, what's the weather conditions, you can already save a lot of lives. You can have AI that can automatically detect if someone starts to lane swerve, potentially flagging to law enforcement, they might want to do a DUI check on that individual. Or someone driving the wrong way, it's using technology in a smart way to address those needs. If you control the traffic flows and you can reduce congestion, together we'll take down the number of accidents. One thing that Europe did really well, instead of just relying on police reported crash data, they take a proactive approach on collecting data and turning this data into actions that they can save lives. Everything to do with road deaths, road safety, road traffic should be addressed under the four E's mnemonic. So you have education, engineering, enforcement, and then you evaluate. We need to do the same approach, use the technology to understand safety issues. And I think one key component to be successful is build partnership between public and private sector. And we see a lot of movements supported by USDOT and ITS America, and we're very excited to be part of that.